Good morning, everybody. Bright and early. Looks like I beat everybody up here this morning. Uh, going to fire up the 953 and start moving some more dirt to backfill the house. Looks like Josh got the fabric put down after I left yesterday around this side of the house. So I'm going to go ahead and start taking this dirt and tracking it up here and start spreading it out. Get another lift in right here to kind of level this up a little bit more. And then start uh, another lift up there where I filled in yesterday. I need to move this drop co uh, drop cord here for the uh, pump and uh, start scooping some more of that dirt. It might come up here with the 220 and break that pile up a little bit, throw it back. It's uh, it's packed in there pretty good for sitting there the last year or so. But uh, yeah, coming along pretty good.
Been getting all my loader zoomies in. I moved a lot of dirt up here. We'll take the mini excavator and push some of that dirt into these corners, pack it in there real quick. And take the skid steer, kind of go around there and finesse that in there a little bit better. I can do it a whole lot faster and quicker with that. So uh, yeah, this thing's working great on getting all the bulk of the dirt up here. Just kind of get that put in place and compact it in. Fuel trailer is hooked up, ready to take it to the job site. I'm gonna stop for a minute, have a quick lunch. Factor meal is the menu for today. Sun-dried tomato chicken with zucchini noodles. Let's uh, heat this up, have lunch real quick. As always with factor meals, 
two minutes in the microwave and you are ready to eat lunch or dinner. Two minutes on high, lunch is ready. Factor meals are a great meal source for busy people like myself. So today it's just nonstop go, go, go. It's nice to stop for a couple minutes, heat up this and have a nice meal. Don't have to worry about getting fast food, going to the gas station, or just making do without eating any lunch. I can have a pretty nice meal here uh, pretty quick, two minutes in the microwave. With Factor, you have 35 different options each week. Chef choice, keto friendly, vegetarian, calorie choice, whatever you want, you can pick the meal that is best for your lifestyle and uh, for what you want that week and have it delivered directly to your doorstep. So it's great. Like I said, busy people like myself, you can uh, get these good meals, eat them breakfast, lunch, or dinner. They do have breakfast options and it just opens up a whole lot more free time to uh, do stuff that you want to do. Summertime's coming to an end here and it's nice to be able to take advantage of the extra hours in the afternoon. So if you're interested in doing this, you need to go to factor75.com, use code let's dig 50 for 50% off your first box and 20% off your next month's order. That is factor75.com, code let's dig 50 for 50% off your first box and 20% off your next month's order. There is a QR code right here below you can scan and it'll very easily take you directly to the website. So enjoy your meals and I'll catch you on the next one. Time for some fuel. I moved a bunch of dirt. If you remember that dirt pile went all the way out there to the end where that other pile of crap is. 
So got all that put up here uh, right before lunchtime. We just went and had lunch. Come back and I slicked all that up, spread a little bit of this gravel out. So this is pretty much done. There's gonna be a retaining wall from that corner. So I'm gonna leave that pile of dirt. So once that's done, I can finish back filling all that. And uh, once I fill everything up, I'm gonna go around to the back side through the breezeway right there and push a little bit of dirt in there, pack that in there, finish dumping the rock in there, and then take that pile from out back and bring it up here and fill all that in. But I'll show you that when I get over there. Okay, so I'm here on the other side of the basement and I'm going to start putting dirt in here. I'm going to go ahead and push some dirt, get some dirt and dump down in here. That way I can dump a little bit more gravel. I want to raise that up about another two feet or so and we'll put our fabric down on top of that and I can pretty much cover this. But yeah, all this dirt has to come up to this brick ledge right here all the way over to, yeah, way over there. So a uh, big pile of dirt over there. I'll take the 953 and bring it over here. But you can see the grade over there now and yeah, big hole here. Let's move a little bit of dirt.
in the track loader. Take the skid steer and dress all this up and roll it in before calling it a day here. I was able to get uh, a lot of that dirt moved up here. Got all this filled in. Just need to kind of slick this up a little bit and move that into the corner and dress up around the edges and roll it in. But yeah, a lot of dirt went into there. That's a wrap for today. Get in here tomorrow with the mini excavator and kind of finish these corners off a little bit better. Kind of rake everything out, but got it all backfilled. And uh, it'll settle in anything else. But down to the brick ledge, once all that's done, everything's going to get backfilled to the top of this. And concrete poured for the driveway through here, but it looks, uh, I may actually just put a little bit more dirt in there just to make sure that everything drains away. But I can do that tomorrow, it's pretty flat right there. But if I raise it up a few more inches, just make sure that that does drain out that way. And obviously all this drains that way. So got rid of a uh, good part of that dirt, but once everything's done, probably come in here and raise this up a little bit more uh, right here in front. I think the main steps of the porch are gonna go right there. So we'll end up blending all this in a little bit better when all that's said and done and the retaining walls are done. Looks a lot better though.